Hello, stranger. Oh, so sorry, we're closed. Ah, that's racist and homophobic. <laughs> okay, let me in. All right, what do you want? All right, so I want something with a lot of ice. Okay. Uh, something with a lot of money. Uh-huh. And uh, a lot of hopes and dreams. The hopes and dreams were kind of dashed out of those, but <laughs> we've got a little bit of money left. Really, this Ooh. is the money. And this is non-alcoholic. You know I need. Yes. Because if you have anything with alcohol, I'm going to be taking things off. It I'm going to be giving things away. It'll be a different situation. <laughs> is it good? Oh, no. This, no? Mm -mm, this is my worst enemy maker. <laughs> what is this? It's what? Mm -mm. No. I'll just take some club soda and some lime bed. You know what? It's a good thing that you're hot. Because <laughs> it doesn't have to be right because you're great to look at. <laughs> I want to get into your career. Okay. The highlights are highlighting right now. You were just nominated for an Emmy for Bridesman, Grinders' first scripted series. Congratulations, first Thank of you. all. Thank Did you. Did you think that you'd be Emmy nominated for a show off of a gay dating app? No, not at all. Well, first of all, I was like, the gays want to watch something other than porn? That's crazy. <laughs> they want to see art now? Uh -huh. Okay, they're cultured. I love it. I was here for it. You yeah. know, I want to I want to be the first of many things. Mm -hmm. So this was a win for lesbians all around because I was able to portray a straight woman. Mm -hmm. Nailed it. Yeah, I mean, and you were nailing it. You like, there's scenes of you giving head, throwing wow. a stripper. <laughs> Eating like, ass. Yes, I mean. It, there's a lot of, you know, acting going mm -hmm. on. And like, it's just so fun to see the cast of characters that you were working with, with Jimmy and, and all of the, the people on the show. What was that like to be uh, surrounded by such like queer friends and people like that? Well, they were very professional. Everybody showed up to work. Mm -hmm. I was there to hang and work, but it was great to see people really taking their jobs seriously. And it really made me want to be better yeah. and do better and, you know, take notes and learn things mm -hmm. and just be in a great space where we can... Um, not only be honest, but also like grow in yeah. this process. To my knowledge, there's no grinder for lesbians, is there? Or what is the grinder equivalent for lesbians? Oh, we don't do that. Don't we do don't that. do that. We we literally are looking for our soulmates, uh -huh. our emergency contacts. Okay. We want <laughs> solid relationships, nothing surface. I mean, obviously. Oh, so you're saying gay men only do surface relationships? I'm just saying, if you want a, if you want a dating app, it's not right. really to date. It's a transaction. Uh -huh. It's like I want to hook up, or I want somebody to fill this time, mm -hmm. or I mean, that's why I think people need to be realistic with yeah. the dating apps because they'll have like these crazy expectations. Like um, I'm looking for somebody. No, no Tauruses, no Aries, no, oh, yeah. no uh, people who sleep with their mouths open. It's just like. <laughs> Bitch, what what do you what do you really want? Right, right. Like, don't, don't you want to just have a good time? Why to does be it have? To single is what they want. And it's funny because those people are usually the ones that are the loudest snores, worst credit. That, but credit is the scam. You said it. <laughs> I don't. I don't need that community coming for me. So if you were to make a lesbian grinder, that was about finding exactly what lesbians want. Like, you know, Grindr has like, are you a top or bottom? Yeah. How close are you? What would the lesbian version of that have? What time were you born? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna, they gonna hit you with some astrology. It's gonna be some conspiracy theories. Like, it's gonna be like three documentaries. Which one would you play first? Like, oh my just, God, <laughs> that's actually really good. Cat or dog. Like, it's just, it's so silly. Ooh, I feel like that's a trick question. That's a, what, what is it? I'm, I'm not a lesbian, I don't know. Okay. I mean, I would say cat. Good for you. Yeah. Good for would you. Would that but be right? We're changing the narrative. We're getting <laughs> parrots now, bitch. Who told you? No more cats in 2022. We're not doing meow parrots. meow. We're, go, we're doing just Polly want a cracker? Yeah, we're like, doing that's... bitches a talk back. Okay, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we want in relationships. We're um. going to back and forth.
So being part of the queer community and you know working in the comedy scene, a lot of it takes place in bars or spaces where people drink or do drugs. So how does it feel to be a sober person in those spaces? Hell. And not- <laughs> it's legit hell. Yeah. But it's like, this is the only way I'm gonna establish some kind of like friendship mm. with people. Yeah. Cause why would they wanna come to your house and like have a wholesome conversation? That's weird. Yeah. So they need things to be like very dim lit, loud music reasons to like not really listen mm-hmm. and the bar does that the bar does that it really it nails does. it it seals it so i have to do it but in the back of my head i'm like the couch would be so much better mm-hmm. you know i mean yeah with the charcuterie we played Ooh, and some I, salami and some gouda i love when somebody is a good host i mm-hmm. hate when somebody invites me over and there's no snacks <laughs> there's no beverages i need more than one beverage if you mm-hmm. just have water I'm you're like there home. for 30 minutes they're like oh are you thirsty you're like, yes, bitch, yeah, I was waiting why would for I you. Come, like, what yeah. are you doing here? Like, why am I here? Mm-hmm. I, I have Netflix, I have Logo, I have everything at home. You know, I have everything. <laughs> come on, Logo. Logo, yeah. <laughs> logo, <laughs> you know? Um, who would you say is more funny, sober Sydney or non-sober Sydney? You really, you really asking the questions, okay? You're being a host. Um, <laughs> I would say... I'm thinking more that I'm sober, so I'm actually extending like bits and jokes. Mm. I think I stress less about things being funny Mm. when I was drinking and partying. I was just saying whatever, and there was no thinking about the repercussions of the joke. So I think that I make better jokes as a sober person, Mm. but I think the energy of being funny was better when I was drunk. There's not that inhibition of like, okay, will this land or will this not? You're just like throwing things at the wind and like, you know. I'm not overthinking. Right. And that's that's what the thing is about being sober is like every little thing is something. One of the reasons people drink is to let that voice go away. Mm -hmm. And I feel like sometimes if we just are able to talk to that voice, maybe not like, you know, but to no, be- No, 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 I think more people should talk to, to themselves. Yeah, to like silence in that. In public. Yeah. I mean, we do see that a lot in LA anyways, <laughs> but I'm just saying like, just being really honest, like, okay, yeah. checking yourself yeah. because a lot of things are in your head and it's really not that deep. Right. But then you go on Reddit and you're like, no, it is that deep. It's, <laughs> it's an uh, unlimited of deep. whole deep, <laughs> deepness for, the, the masses, yeah. so. Well, I'm glad that you're sober and that you love it, and I... I never said that I loved it, but I love <laughs> that you're putting that out there. You know, it's it's basically like I'm sober because I have to be sober. Yeah. I have to, because I know what could come about of it. Mm. And so I'm just being an adult and being responsible and doing what's best for me. I and also love that you just said like, oh, I don't love it. No. Yeah. No, and that's the thing about being adult. There's some shit you're not gonna love, but you gotta do it if you want to be better. Right. You know, so that's really what it's about. I'll do that. <laughs> Cheers, Cheers to hating sobriety. <laughs> <laughs>You did your one woman show this summer mm-hmm. called How to Start a Fire. Yeah. And what's great about it is that you turn something like sending your childhood house up into flames into an hour of laughs. How does that work when you can turn something traumatic into something hilarious? Well, I just think like it's going with the times, like trauma is the move. You know? It's <laughs> like if something bad happened, good, let's laugh. <laughs> Tell us now so we can laugh about it. Yeah. So uh, I think that for a long time, I didn't think about it because um, I just thought it was like a weird thing to start a conversation with. But I said it on a podcast and mad people were like, wait a minute, bitch, let's start from the beginning. And I was like, <laughs> story oh, time. Yeah, I was like, oh, people are invested. They want to know. It was just good that I was able to flip something that was essentially pretty bad for my family. Yeah. And um, I'm glad that I'm able to talk about it. And there's other people who had something that's similar mm, happen to them mm-hmm. and they can resonate with it. And I'm trying to get my, I don't want to say the net, but I do want to be able to not just do laughs. It's mm-hmm. more about like the story and the journey and the buildup and really holding people for an hour mm. in so many different emotions. I want people to laugh and have a good time, but I also want people to go back home and be like, okay, so how can I work on myself 
um, while I'm laughing. Right. Ew, that is so gay <laughs> and so lesbian. <laughs> that is disgusting. How do I work on me while also getting a good chuckle? Oh, yeah. I feel this, like a therapist would approve of that message. Mm -mm. They was like, actually, you have not seen anybody in a while, so <laughs> you should probably <laughs> clack in for me, sweetie. <laughs> clack in for me. I'm like, when I get that insurance, I will clack in uh -huh. for sure. When America pulls up with uh, universal Biden's. <laughs> Biden's, where's my, my solid health insurance? Why are women funnier than men? Ooh, <laughs> ooh. Okay, you, re you really trying to Aren't have they? the girls tussle with me in the, in the commentos. Uh, why are women funnier than men? Well, let's get specific. Cis straight men. Mm. Uh, That's I, very sweet of you. Cis straight men. <laughs> <laughs> I think that women are just like funnier than men because they're not trying to prove something all the time. Mm. I think toxic masculinity plays a part in cis straight men being the need to be funny all the time. Mm. And so whenever I hang out with the girls, it's just they're having a good time talking about the most random shit, okay? Yeah. So it's gonna be like reality TV mm -hmm. and then the clouds and then a, a terrible <laughs> Caesar salad. And I, I just think that like cis straight men sometimes it's, it's kind of like one dimensional. Yeah. Like, oh, so y'all really just gonna do bits about socks. <laughs> For 20 minutes, good for you, Brad. I mean, clearly you're not getting fucked because you're talking about socks. But uh -huh. also, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not here to shame. I'm not here to sock shame, but I don't wear socks. I don't wear socks. You so. don't? No, I don't wear socks. So do your feet get sweaty? No. Babe, do you, it's oh, a yeah. thousand degrees in here. Do you see a drip drip? Maybe because I'm dehydrated. I'm uh, water. <laughs> you see, I sipped on this like maybe once. You did. Like, I'm like, you're like. Yeah, yeah you're, uh, yours is almost done. The continuity not happening. <laughs> not, on th not on this session. Maybe the next one. You said that you're in your boring lesbian era. What is that? I thought lesbians were always boring. Ooh. <laughs> Well, on, I'm just trying to get dragged. Hold on, hold on. I'd be on the TT and the lesbians are, that's TikTok. Yes. The lesbians <laughs> are living their lives. They're going trips. Yeah. They can't show you like what kind of strap-ons they have, but they're alluding to that. Oh. I mean, people are more poly now. Yeah. There's a lot of poly pockets out there. <laughs> oh my God, is that what? They're, yeah, they're having uh, a, a buffet of, uh, you know, charcuterie boards, mm. <laughs> if you will. Yeah. Uh, I am boring because I've lived. You know, my mm -hmm. 20s were very dedicated to all of the mess mm -hmm. and all the shenanigans and anything and everything that I should have died already I shouldn't even be alive mm. so now I'm exhausted my soul is ready to hang it up yeah. the whole cloak is done mm -hmm. so the whole cloak whole cloak is done wow. she's she's out yeah. out there. I would like to pass it on uh -huh. so anybody with my old you know <laughs> okay now I'll take it uh, there's a lot there's I a lot of lint I should probably retire yeah, my I'm, whole cloak as no, well no baby since, since you still got it on it's a little <laughs> it's on the neck it's, it's perched so now that you're turning your whole cloak do you have a weighted blanket instead Depression? Yes. Yes, that is doing its job. It's never letting up. She uh, just stays on my neck. She's on it. She's, it I'm in a chokehold. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm looking for stability. I want things to be consistent. Mm -hmm. uh, consistency is boring. Uh, because knowing you sound like you're in a relationship. I am. Yeah, I am taken. It's giving in a relationship. If this Bob doesn't <laughs> scream taken, I don't know what else. I don't know how else. How else am I supposed to explain it? You're right. But yeah, yeah, I, I definitely. That's why I came to LA. Because why else would I be here? <laughs> but <laughs> we have so much fun just being in the house, mm. watching TV, or just scrolling, ignoring each other. <laughs> Oh, nothing nothing's hotter than someone talking and they're like are you listening yeah. and i'm like huh you yeah. know that who gets the panties drip or when you're like next to each other and you're like <laughs> <laughs> and then like two minutes pass what's so funny oh yeah oh 
And then you share a TikTok and then you're like, oh, I love having this with you. I hit her all the time. <laughs> Not like hit, like uh -oh. abuse <laughs> hit. But I always be like, what are you laughing about? What? I'm literally right here. Why is your mouth wide open? Why did you fall on the, fall off the couch? Like, this is stupid. It's cheating, actually. <laughs> I do not recommend, if you're in a relationship with somebody who is a comedian yeah. or an entertainer, <laughs> for you to be laughing just At with all else. the joy. <laughs> you, you're you laughing with your whole chest. Like, That's bitch, so you don't rude. laugh with me like that. Exactly. That's so <laughs> rude. And I'm like, and we're having sex. Right. You should be constantly laughing. <laughs> not during sex, but you right. should be letting me know that I'm doing my job. No? Mm-hmm. I, yeah. <laughs> People are either they're happy for my girlfriend or they're like, blink, blink 17 times if you need to get out, you know? They're like, what's her at? Do we need to go over there? Do we need to have the SWAT team, the lesbian SWAT team to get her out? Well, actually, the lesbian SWAT team would have to get me out because I'm a squatter, so. <laughs> Don't let me move into your house because I am there, okay? I, you cannot kick me out. It's not happening. Oh, no, not, no, that wouldn't work for me. Ask my ex. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> hey, Adrian.